Hello, 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 hello. Hi, Julian. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's uh, it's really early in the morning, so <laughs> yeah, that's that's good. Soldiering on. <laughs> well, let's get you back in bed right after this. I am so excited, though, to talk to you about Godzilla versus Kong because I grew up watching both of them, so it was about time mm -hmm. that they co-star together. And speaking of co-stars, Millie Bobby Brown is your co-star in this, and everybody is crazy for her. But I heard that you guys had to recite Shakespeare together for a screen test. Is this true? Yeah, so I remember we did a chemistry read. We went into this office. I thought, like, okay, we want you to read the script. I'm like, okay, it's probably from the film. And then I look at it and I'm like, this looks like it was written 300 years ago by a 60 year old dude. I don't know what this is. Um, and it was, ended up being Romeo and Juliet. So it was an experience. But the story obviously goes well because you get the part and mm. now you're in the movie. Mm. Now I heard that you recently celebrated not one, but two big milestones. Yes. Yes, I just turned 18. <gasps> uh, well, not just, but I turned 18 like three months ago, but I just moved out of home. I am currently, yeah, I'm chilling in my own space. I'm, I'm independent, I'm living life, so. Well, I have a quick question for you. I wanted to play a really quick game with you. Before we go to the break, I was wondering if we could kick it up a notch. Um, and this is called Before the Break. All right, now we see tons of fighting between Godzilla and Kong in the movie, but we were thinking like, I would love to get your take on who would fare better in these everyday situations. You tell me who would reign supreme and do better at everyday situations, like let's say Julian attending a dinner party, Godzilla or Kong? I feel like it would be Godzilla because um, he would just have better table manners. He could also like flambe and like, or flambe, yeah. or like do a bananas fosters or some crepes with his fire mouth. He could just be cooking the food. He could make the food and bring it to the dinner table. Exactly. Who would fare better in speaking to the manager? I feel like Kong because he can actually um, talk. I feel like uh, Godzilla would just yell at him. So Kong, yeah. Babysitting. Babysitting, mm, Godzilla. Because I feel like he's scared. He's like, I used to get babysat by my older cousin um, and uh, I hated it because she was uh, angry quite a lot of the time. Um, but it really did kick me and my brother into shape. So, probably Godzilla. Meeting the parents. Mm, I feel like Kong because Kong could actually um, shake uh, the father's hand. Because um, he has hands. Um, yeah. Okay, what about being broken up with? Kong, Godzilla would do like something revengeful, like go to their house and burn every single person they love to the ground. All right, which one would you pick to star in a romantic comedy? Godzilla, that'd be fun. And why is that? Can you imagine? Well, I'm pretty sure Godzilla vs Kong is a romantic comedy, to be honest, if you watch it in a certain way. It's a bromance comedy film. That's what I that's what that's what I describe it as. Then see the bromance of the decade, Godzilla versus Kong. Julian Dennison, I'm so happy to make your acquaintance. It was an absolute pleasure. All right, now get back in bed. Godzilla versus <laughs> Kong is in theater.